Good morning, or good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. Welcome back. Um, today, myself and Archie are off to a pole clinic. Something not only he hasn't done, but I've never done either. In all the years I've been riding, I have never been to a pole clinic. So, something new for the pair of us. Um, he had his physio yesterday. Emma's actually given me a few riding pole exercises to do anyway, so I'm on the right track. I thought pole work would do him good and going to a pole session might give me some inspiration as to what to do myself in the school. So the kiddo's currently having his breakfast. I've just opened up the lorry. I do need to put some bedding down because we cleared it all out the other day and I forgot. Um, opened all the windows. So uh, now to go and quickly muck out and um, get the kid ready. Right, <laughs> I don't think I mentioned in the uh, last video that um, his near hind is sticking slightly. And uh, yesterday, talking to Emma, she said that the kick out that he does when I'm cantering is when it gets stuck, and that's him trying to loosen it. Um, because in the school yesterday, he was going around lovely. Don't stand on me, mate. And the canter was much better. She said, this is great. And all of a sudden, his, his uh, stifle got, gets stuck. You can see it hover, and then he starts kicking out. So um, the idea is not to do loads of canter at the minute. I can do some, just uh, I want him to be comfortable. I don't want him to associate cantering and pain. So he can do a little bit, not to the point that he suddenly goes, ow, that's stuck. Um, but yeah, carry on with his walk and trot. The, we've had lots of rain, but it's clay around here. And as soon as it dries up, it seriously dries up. He's just walked onto the wheelbarrow. He can't. Mate. Get off the wheelbarrow. <laughs> Go on. So uh, it's not been a bad thing that the ground's been hard because I haven't been able to do this stuff. And I don't want to die anyway because when he kicks that back end up, it's really high. And I'm not exaggerating. I have got photos um, of his legs up in the air. Haven't I, dear? But yeah, we're slowly getting. Right, the boy is loaded. We're good to go. So, uh, Let's get cracking. Today was the first time he's ever got excited about going out. Um, as soon as he put the tail guard on, that was it. He was swinging around. So uh, I think that's a good sign. He's excited about going out. Um, he ran onto the box. So yeah, I think he's uh, quite keen. As you can see, Archie was a tad on his toes when we first got there. He was on his toes from the moment we left the yard this time. Um, he told me to sit down, as I'm sure you just saw, onto the mountain block. So once I was on, he seemed a lot better. And the lady just let us walk around, let him get used to his surroundings, get used to the other horses being there. There I am with Jess and Franco. Obviously, Archie knows Jess. We've been out of her a lot but not with Franco, she usually has Obi with us. 
So we have a walk and a trot round and uh, just try and settle him down a little bit. As you will see in a second, he's still not keen on horses coming towards him. This is partly why I'm doing this, so he get used to being around other horses. He's a bit better there, good boy Archie. That was much better. But this is all part of his learning um, to work around other horses. He didn't like horses coming up behind him, hence why he's not a racehorse. Nothing to do with his speed, he's plenty of that but he was needing more time and they were not prepared to give that to him. So I'm lucky. As you can see, there was just the three of us in this particular session. That was just enough for Archie and his brain. Um, there we are just having a canter around. Felt a bit like pony club following one another around. Um, <laughs> took me back. Not many years, I have to confess. <laughs> um, but as you can see, he's actually been really quite good. He calmed right down. He seems to calm down more when I'm on him. He's quite a handful on the floor, but once I'm on, it's, I don't know, it's like a comfort blanket to him or something. Um, I feel more comfortable controlling him from on top. I know some people find that a bit mad. They'd rather jump off and lead them. I'm the opposite. I'd rather be on them and um, put my leg on and get them going forward and away. So... Uh, yeah, he, he definitely seems to prefer that as well. So here we are, just coming in for a wee chat after having a warm-up to uh, see what we're going to be getting up to. We started the session just by trotting over one individual pole. Now, this pole is slightly thicker and squared. So, as you can see, Archie thought he had to jump it because it wasn't like a normal pole on the floor. You don't think that something so minor would have such an effect, but it really does. You will also see that I'm not trying to force him into an outline. At this stage in his career, I don't really care what we look like, if I'm honest. I'm just trying to get him going forwards. Forwards, forwards, forwards. Opening my hands, trying to keep him straight between my legs, let him find his own way, and um, use his brain and work his own feet out. So, woo! I wasn't expecting that, can you tell? Got a little bit left behind there. But, um, yeah, some uh, really good work. He does eventually start to trot over it, but it takes a few attempts. But um, I will just let you sit back and uh, watch.
so as you can see folks we've now moved on to a few more poles that was me getting it wrong i thought i was meant to go straight on she only wanted us to do three poles and the cross to start with otherwise a bit overkill for the mind i get that but i was a bit keen here's franco showing us how it should be done um archie he was still a little bit on his toes he wasn't really moving forward properly so he was struggling with the poles a bit it was a little bit better there i found the more he settled into the session the more his stride opened up and the more he was able to reach the poles. I hope you know what I mean by that. Uh, we were actually getting to them and not shuffling through them or having to jump over them. Um, here he comes again. The, the hardest part is your turn because he is so wobbly and um, like his, you know, straightness is something we're currently working on. There's no straightness. It's just all wobble, wobble, wobble. He's all legs, as you can see. And um, it is quite difficult. He actually probably looks better than he feels. Um, I am finding that with the videos. Here's Franco and Jess showing us how it should be done yet again. There we go. Oh, oh no, I thought we were adding the other three, but we weren't. Oh, see, he's, he's thinking about it. You can see his little brain having a think. That was better. Well done. Good boy. There we go. So no, really pleased with that. Now we're on to the full shebang, cooking on gas. Um, he found it really quite difficult. He actually did quite well there at the end, considering we wobbled into it. Franco showing us all how it's done yet again. Thank you, Jess. See, it is good for the older horses as well to do the pole work because it really does engage their brains and makes them think about their footwork. So it's not just for the babies. And this is something that I am going to be taking forwards with me. We're definitely doing more today, in fact. I actually moved all my poles that I've had for years. I've just been sat by my hay doing nothing. One by one, I carried them up to the school because they're the hard poles. They're wood. Um, and, yeah, they're all up there ready for me to use because I was using plastic ones the other day and he just kicks them out of the way and I had to keep getting off, which is quite difficult when you're my size and he's his size. But it was good practice for um, standing at the mountain block. Okay, so now on to the other direction. And we take the lead. So sit back and enjoy, people. And hopefully you will see how he progresses through this. Look at his little face. And uh, works it out for himself.
guys that's us back he was awesome um poles were really making him think and you can see his little brain thinking things over really really good for him he was really on his toes when we first got there a bit excited not knowing what's going to happen what he's going to do because every time he's gone out he's done something different so he's probably thinking what are we doing now so uh yeah really chuffed with him he's now having a spot of lunch i just went running around to say goodbye to monica because she's going to her retirement field but i've missed them they've gone but we might see her when we're riding out she's going to a field nearby and when the tractors and that stop whizzing around we might pass the field that she's going to be in but look doesn't he look well he was such a good boy um everyone always loves him no matter where i go I get um, good comments, so uh, yeah, just taking it slowly with him, but stuff like this is going to be perfect, so more poll sessions, please. Um, yeah, so uh, I hope you like it. I'm looking forward to watching the videos. You'll have seen them by now, um, but I'm just going to uh, go and clear the horse box out, stick him out, and then uh, the horse box is going to have some work done because it's due its MOT soon, so, and then also got to take my car over for some new brake pads and discs. Expensive day, you could say. But um, hope you enjoy it and uh, see you for the next one, which I think will be our first ever jump lesson with the man, the myth, the legend, Richard Jones. So uh, we'll see you then.